Oh, shoot, I didn't know I was going live. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. Welcome to the stream. I know I haven't done one in a very long time. I've just been super busy, but I've been on spring break, spring break recently, and it's going to be over. Tomorrow's my last day of spring break, unfortunately. So I thought I'd do a live stream, you know, just to, you know, chat with you guys, and plus I can enjoy this before I have to go back to school in two days because I do go back to school on Monday, unfortunately, but on the bright side, I did get a bunch of videos done for you guys, so those will be coming out in the very near future throughout the weeks. Hello, everyone who is joining right now. We already have 12 viewers. Thank you guys so much, and I just wanted to say that we are super close to 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. As well, we are almost a little less than 100 away, so thank you guys so much for that. I never thought I hit it, especially not this fast. So yeah, as you guys see by the title, this is, this is basically most of the stuff that I have gotten over the past couple of weeks. Some of the stuff actually wasn't exactly like recent most of the stuff is recent though like you can see I have some customs in here and some other things that I've had for a while such as the shoot to okay with flames right here what I do plan to record a review on but I never have and that's mostly because I kind of forgot over time Don't worry, guys, I will be showing all of you except for some that are in the back because I'm just afraid that something bad will happen or the camera will fall down. I don't want that. But someone did ask to show the damage light in McQueen, so I will show that. But I'm only going to do a brief showing because I want to save the complete look at it for my review of it, which I did record. And I don't really want to spoil it so much, but here it is. Just real quick look at it. You guys can, will be able to see a lot better once I do my review of him. I changed my name for personal reasons, just for personal reasons. Don't worry, guys. It won't be there permanently. It's just temporary. You can still call me Danica Blue 43 DB43, whatever you want, but just personal reasons, and I decided to put it to that. It'll just temporary, though, guys. I don't know how long it will be there, but don't worry, guys. I'm still Danica Blue 43 Don't you guys worry. That's awesome that you're getting Conrad Camber and Paul Conrad today. I still need Conrad Camber. My favorite character from Cars, you can see him up there. Right there. That one right there is my favorite one. So yeah, let's start showing some of these, so... We're going to take Damage McQueen off along with this Blinker Pity Custom that I made. This I actually got yesterday. So this is my most recent Cars edition. Not Mattel. It is Disney Store because, as you guys see, it has the Disney Store logo. Haven't decided if I wanted to review this yet, but I might since it looks pretty cool. You can see Mater, and it comes with the little mini Rage Tag. What's cool about it, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but McQueen actually rolls. I didn't think that they would actually make him be able to roll around the Rage Tag. I thought he would just be, like, stuck to one spot. Good thing that he's not. And I actually got this at Disney World. I went to Disney World yesterday. My fifth time ever going to Disney World. And I had a blast. This is the only thing I found. But it's better than nothing. Am I right? And this two pack up here. I actually won off of a bid on eBay. I'm trying to read all of you guys' comments as good as I can. But at the same time, I'm trying to make sure nothing bad is, goes on. And everything's all good. Well, that says very bad connection. That is not a good sign. But nonetheless, yeah, I did win this off of a bid 
on eBay for, I think like it was like $30, I won the bid, which is very happy, I was very happy about it, because I feel like this two-pack might become expensive in the future, because the King and Chick Hicks are like Cars 1 versions, they really have raised up in price, because the King I see for like $20 on eBay, which is kind of odd, since he's, pretty, he's a supporting character along with Chick and Cars one, so the fact that both of them are in a two-pack together, it could become valuable one day, and plus these are classics, I wanted to get them for sure. Here's the back. So yeah, I definitely will be keeping these guys. Most certainly won't be taking them out of the package. And of course, what they are on top of is the birthday five pack, which I found on my local Toys R Us. Well, that's awesome that you're going to get Marcus Crankler, Darren Leadfoot, Rich Mixon, and Bubba Wheelhouse Cars 3 Hyper Dimension Neptunia. I never really heard I never really heard of that Brazilian skeleton gyro pink. I might look it up, but I never heard of it. Most of this stuff is from um online, by the way, guys. Not everything's from online. Like that birthday five pack, for example. But most of this stuff is from online. And by the way, here's the blinker pity. I don't have any motivation to review this guy. I kind of want to wait until I get a full, complete team custom of blinker and maybe possibly a haul. Probably definitely not the haul. I at least want to get a crew chief done. But so far, I got this blinker pity I made. Of course, it was made from Luke Pedal Work, the Dynaco Pity. We have this Sleeping Sheriff custom that I did, which is probably one of the easiest customs I've ever done. All I really, all I had to do was paint the eyes with black Sharpie. Which blue car are you talking about? You're talking about this one? Like, the one next to Shoe? Well, thank you so much, Dynaco42. That means a lot. Epic Lightning 95, I don't really know what to do about that. I'll change it soon, but that's not my top priority. Right now, honestly, I got other things to worry about. And plus, I need to get a bunch of videos done. But yeah, I know quality is important. But I need want to get those done pretty soon. But the quality, I hope to improve in the future. I heard someone say in the comments, like, a little later, if I like DreamWorks. I mean, I can't really say for sure. I'm definitely not, like, the biggest fan of them, but I don't really remember much from DreamWorks, like, the movies they put out. I don't remember watching a DreamWorks movie in a long time, so I don't know. But I definitely am the, big, ain't the biggest fan of them right now, especially since I don't know them that much. Vega is just something random that I put in there. I don't know why, but Vega just came to mind. I have no clue. But I just randomly put it in there. Don't worry, guys. not going to be there for long. Hopefully. But like I said, just ignore that it says Vega. And I would really appreciate if all you guys just please stop talking about that. Because I still just don't like to know it's there. But I just had to put it there, unfortunately. But don't worry, guys. I'm still Dynamical Blue Free 3. Yeah, I do know The Incredibles 2 is going coming over the summer. I'm super excited for it. I definitely will be watching it. And I did see the Ralph Breaks the Internet trailer, Anthony Moore Wrong. I will be watching that as well since I like the first movie, so I like to see what they do with the second. The blue car besides shoe, you guys are probably going to like this. I haven't reviewed it yet because I'm waiting to make a next gen of it, but this is a Dynaco Blue 43 stock car. I was going to say this as a surprise, but I decided to do it for the stream.
This is based off of Dud Thrawman. Dud Thrawman seemed like the right card to do it off of anyway, since he's already blue and a similar color blue to what my type of blue is, you know? So I figured Dud Thrawman was good, and I found a spare Dud Thrawman on my local target, fortunately. So after that, it will just custom from there, and I got the Dying Kapoor the stock card. Hello, Bluest, how are you doing? Well, that's awesome, Blues. I have the 15 pack as well, if you can kind of see back there. I was honestly kind of hesitant if I wanted to get it or not because there's some cars in there by need, but thankfully my parents let me get it. But I'm probably not going to do a review on it. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I already opened it. I just put it back. Like in the package. If your local Toys R Us is staying open, then you probably are, like, outside of the United States, I assume. Because I'm not sure outside of the United States, maybe some of their stores are opening, but I honestly doubt it. But I don't know. If you live in the United States, then I'm sorry, but your Toys R Us is definitely done for. Like, all the Toys R Uses in the United States are unfortunately closing. Sad, sad, sad. I'm going to miss it as well, because Toys R Us is basically my childhood. I used to go in there all the time. And I found a lot of great cars there as well, so I'm going to miss it. I don't know why Mattel keeps renaming the Revolting Racer, but just to let everyone know, Davey Apex, the um, Cars 1 Revolting Racer, his name is not T.G. Castlenut. Don't think that T.G. Castlenut was also one of the more returning racers. He was not. Or else he would have the Kyle Weathers model. So yeah, just remember that he's Dave Apex. Apex or Dave Alton, whatever you want to call it, because Mattel goes with him by two names, which is super confusing. My trip to Disney World was amazing. I, I didn't go on many rides, but I still had a fantastic time. And what's even better about it is that I actually was able to go for free because my uncle works at Disney World. I don't have Chet Box Car, unfortunately. I don't exactly understand what you're saying, Epic Lightning 15. Are you trying to say, like, there's no cars around Disney World or something? I, I don't really understand. Oh, and by the way... This Tim Trellis might wonder why he's here. Well, I got him at Toys R Us because it was like a buy two, get one free deal. So I got him to make a custom next gen Rusty. So that will be coming soon. How many mini races do I have? I honestly don't know, but I think I had like eight mini racers before I got the 15 pack. But then again, there's like some in there, so... I'd say I'm in, like, at least 20s, the 20s range, probably. But I don't know, I'll count after the video, I didn't really count. But, from what I'm assuming, I feel like I have probably 20. I definitely don't have every single one of them, so I'm guessing, like, around 20. Oh, I, I see what you're saying, Epic Lightning 15. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I honestly forgot how much I paid for this mater here. But yeah, Disney Store, I mean, you can't really... Um, not Disney Store, Disney World, you can't really expect anything more. It's Disney World on its own, of course, they're going to have everything more expensive there, because that's just how they are. Like, those Mickey Mouse balloons, they're like $25. That's insane. I don't think I'm going to review the Trunk Fresh cab. I'm not sure. Come on, man. I'm live streaming here. You gotta stay on. You just randomly fell too. Okay, you're back up there.
Hello, little Harky. How are you doing? And for, to answer your question, I've only been streaming for 15 minutes. So they haven't really missed that much. Did you hate Jake Paul? Well, I'm, I don't really watch Jake Paul that much. That is not me. I don't really watch him that much. But, you know... I guess he's just some random YouTuber. I know who he is. I know him. I know he's a YouTuber and all, but I just don't watch him that much. I don't watch his brother either. My day is going amazing, Bluest. Oh, well, thank you, Donico42, for putting me as a cameo as the second commander president person. The worst car in the car universe, um, I don't know, I really like all the characters, but I gotta say, the one that comes to mind automatically is Sterling, I'm honestly not a big fan of him. So I feel like it's him, but then again, he's the only one that's coming to mind right now, so maybe there's someone that I hate even more than Sterling that I'm forgetting, but I think for now it's Sterling. Hunting is going great, little Harky. I found the Disney Store Mater with the racetrack at Disney World. I found the Raider Springs Birthday 5-pack. Like I said before, I don't think I'm going to review the Trunk Fresh Hauler because I already had the hauler. I'll tell you guys later in the stream if I can remember as to why I bought another one. Yeah, Harky, I do have a shoe of flames. Unfortunately, it is the only cancel slash prototype car I do have. I'm fine with that. I'm just very happy I have a canceled car. I never thought I would have one. It looks amazing. If only Mattel didn't cancel this one. That's really disappointing. And I feel like Mattel cancels some of their best cars sometimes. I'm going to turn him the other way so you guys can see his flame. I don't think Mattel will do another T-Rock race. Honestly, I have really, like, low doubts about that. But, I mean, if, even if they do, please do it. Like, even if they do do it, you know, I guess it's still kind of cool, but just more money. But at the same time, I do want to see other T-Rock races from the other World Grand Prix racers that didn't get one, like Nigel Gearsley or Raul Sarul, you know? But honestly, in my personal opinion, I doubt they'll ever put the T-Rock series again. But if they do, they do. Yeah, shoes expression does look like that. Bluest. Yeah, sure, you can see the back of the package of Lee Revkin. So, let's take him. It, it actually shows a release that hasn't even been released yet or revealed on card. You have... TG Castle Nut. No, I'm just kidding. Davy Apex. Greg Cannonman, Mario Andretti. And the one that hasn't even been revealed on card yet, the regular cards with Lightning McQueen. I got the 2018 Lee Revkins for a couple reasons. One, that one is obviously not chipped. That one has flat eyes. And that one has plastic tires. Well, this one has raised eyes, rubber tires, and a bunch of chips. I feel like Lee Revkin is about to fall the way he's positioned. I believe Stern with Headset actually is coming out this year because there was a picture revealed on Amazon, like a diecast picture of Stern with Headset. So I do think he's actually coming this year. So that would be amazing. He'll most likely be in the 4 to 500 series. My prediction for the next line of Disney Store diecast, I'm not sure, but it seems like the um, piston cut tractors are the most popular thing right now, so I think they're going to try to do more of those. 
Yeah, I agree. I definitely do need to make a Crash Doc and McQueen. Cra uh, d race damage, Phallus and Hornet was canceled back in 2010. S but race damage like McQueen would still be pretty cool. But I would honestly want a race damage Phallus and Hornet more than I would want a race damage McQueen. The only reason why I say that is because one was canceled, and I feel like it'd be more honorable than to have the race damage McQueen. But I still want both of them to be released, you co of course. Any cancel card that you want to be released, what would it be? I'm a huge fan. I was a huge fan of the Piston Cup on um, haulers and team sets. So there was like a couple at the Peter Automotive Museum, like a couple of haulers. Like there was a retread hauler, an easy idle hauler, hauler a tow cap hauler. And I think some other ones as well that I can't really think of right now. But those were all canceled. And the N20 Cola team set and the easy idle one was also canceled. I wish I never canceled those. I would definitely want those as the uncanceled ones. I would be super happy. Yeah, I definitely do find that weird, Blues. I guess Mattel has some sort of love to Murray Clutchburn. I would love to see um, Bobby Swift and Brick Yarley as mini racers. And it would make more sense because they had speaking lines, yet Murray didn't. So it's kind of strange, but I guess Mattel likes to produce Murray Clutchburn so much. I keep getting the thing on the third line that says very bad connection. That is not good. Okay, well, goodbye, Cameron, Cameron Evans. Hope you did enjoy the stream. Out of the leaked 2018 Amazon cars, which are you most excited for? Well, little Harky, um, I gotta think. I know there's, like, some... I feel like there's one that I remember that they showed. I think I'm most excited for um, Van Scanline, the RV. I'm always in the mood for more RVs. If you guys don't know who Van Scanline is, he is an RV who will be in the Dynacle 400 series as a deluxe. I feel like I'm most excited for him because I'm always in the mood for more RVs. Although I don't know where Van Scanline appeared in the movie, but I'll probably find that out soon. Yeah, those are something I forgot. Using Gasper and Violin. All those haulers were canceled. All the RVs that I have, besides RV, of course, the Demolition Derby one, I have Doug RM, Elvis RV, Bud, the Super Chase, and Barry Diesel. So that will be, I th if I can count right, the sixth RV. That I will get. Nitroid or leakless? I probably have to go with nitroid because I feel I'm I'm a huge fan of um, dark colors like that, and in general, I prefer the color black over yellow. So I think I prefer Aiken or nitroid in general. I mean, better than leakless. Although leakless is still probably one of my favorite sponsors because such a classic one, and was leakless was one of the first background characters to ever be released. But yeah, I prefer nitrate over leakless, essentially. Oh, thanks for the information, little Harky. I did not know that. One of my customs to be released, what would it be? I mean, I would definitely like my own car to be made by Mattel, but I don't want to sound so selfish. So, I would definitely want my race damage with Queen custom, besides my stock car, to be released by Mattel. And probably third would be the Blinker Pity. Because we haven't gotten any Cars 3 team members yet. No Crew Chiefs, no Pities, but I'm sure they will soon. The closest we've got to a Cars 3 team member were the Haulers. Bricky Ollie's Hauler, Bobby Swift's Hauler, Cal Weathers Hauler, and Mac. How do I feel about Mattel inaccurately making Van Scanline? Well, I don't know if he was, like, um, inaccurate. I know there was something about him that was inaccurate. I believe it was, like, the lines on his side. I think it was actually a different color on the die cast than it was in the movie. That's from what I heard. If he wants to fall so much, I'm just going to have him right here. How do you like me now?
By the way, guys, this dog cuts in is not a custom, but I do plan to make it a custom. I just haven't done it yet, because watch this. I could take his headset right off. This is just the regular Fabulous Hudson Hornet. I just put the headset on him. And, of course, the stand isn't custom. It was actually released by Mattel. If I don't see any of your guys' replies or, like, chats, I'm very sorry about that, but I can't read everything because there's a lot of people. Uh, I know there's not so many people, but sometimes I just can't see your comments. And if I don't reply to them, feel free to, like, redo them. I don't mind. But if I do miss your messages, I am extremely sorry. I'm doing my best. Lady McQueen or Jackson Storm, definitely Lady McQueen. Do you think Lightning should have won at the end of Car Street instead of Cruz? I definitely would have liked that better. It would have been more honorable to Doc Hudson. And that's basically what happened in the deleted scene called More Than New Paint. In my opinion, that would have been a better ending to the movie. And I mean, Cruz still races. So for the people who complain that Cruz wouldn't have races, she still would have. So yeah, I feel like McQueen winning the last race definitely would have been better. But, I mean, the movie still could have been worse, you know? But, yeah, I definitely do agree. McQueen definitely deserved to win the last race. Even though he technically did in Cars 3, I wish he won it completely without any help. Yeah, I do have the regular Doc Kikuchi, but I decided to show the f regular Fazas and Hornet and then just put the yellow headset on top of him just because that's how he appeared in photos in McQueen's trailer in Cars 3. Oh, by the way, guys, if you haven't known, I did post this on Instagram yesterday. New two packs were revealed. Two new ones, Tailgate and Pushover. Now, I don't understand why exactly Mattel is releasing Tailgate twice this year. He's going to be available as a single and in a two pack this year with Pushover. And you guys should definitely see that because Pushover's art is amazing. And, of course, Jeff Gravett Pity and John Lassatire, which the Jeff Gravett Pity... I actually did get a name finally. I don't know why they didn't give him a name when they originally released him, which was back in 2016, two years ago. And two years after his release, he finally got a name. I think his name is Turbo Bullock, or however you pronounce your last name, or pronounce his last name, Turbo Bullock. I do think Mattel will eventually release the next gen haulers. Eventually. I at least expect him to make Jackson taller, since he was, of course, the main racing rival for McQueen and Cars 3. Yeah, I agree. Tailgate and Pushover isn't that good, in my opinion. I would prefer to have Fair Game in that two-pack other than Tailgate, honestly. Because Fair Game is the last demolition derby car that needs to be released, and he still hasn't been released. Turbo Bullock is the name for the Jeff Corvette Pity little harky. It was actually just revealed um, yesterday because the image with him and his and Jeff Corvette's crew chief was revealed. And also, we had the first ever Super Chase revealed this year. Sergeant High Gear from Cars 2. Which, if you guys do not know, he was actually canceled for the Cars 2 mainline. He was supposed to be released as part of the Cars 2 mainline as a deluxe. But he got canceled, so he's actually getting uncanceled. So that is definitely amazing. Hyped for him. <laughs> mm. 
The little Lightning McQueen on the trunk fresh hauler is a plastic Lightning McQueen from the plastic line. Don't ask me how I have this. But I just decided to buy it, you know, because I was kind of getting a little upset. But, you know, here's the little plastic Lightning McQueen. I actually am kind of happy I got Lightning McQueen since he's a main character. We're just going to put him next to Doc. We'll just put it by the stand right there. Yeah, I agree, Blues. Those plastic minis aren't the best. They definitely do not compare to the mini racers. Yeah, Harky, I'm very glad that Mattel is re-releasing some of the old classic characters, some other good ones as well. Like, I, when you think about it, they are re-releasing a bunch of good stuff. Like, they are re-releasing, um, the Dinoco Crew Chief for the King and Cars 1. I forgot his name. They are re-releasing TJ, all the Sardis Bootcamp members. They're even uncanceling two cars this year so far. So far, we have the uncanceled releases of Sarge with Howitzer and Sarge in High Gear this year. <laughs> and a car that I would like to be re-released, um... Well, I think I would go with some that are rare now. Like, I would love a re-release. I'd say of El Matador. I'd go with El, El Matador. I don't have a name for the Blinker Pity. But here is the Blinker Pity. Trying to get the focus. It's a live stream, so I can't, like, control the quality, unfortunately. Yeah, there he is. And by the way, this is supposed to represent the design for a speedy comment and not Ryan inside Laney. I'm very sorry to say this to you, Anthony, more wrong, but I think Ferrari F430, I think it's confirmed that Ferrari F430 will never get a re release because I think it was like early 2015 when Mattel actually lost the license to release any Ferraris, and that also means re releasing any Ferraris. So Ferrari F430 will never be re released un unless the Ferrari F430 license holds back up. But there, Mattel is no longer allowed to release any Ferraris. Which means we won't be able to get a re-release of Ferrari F430, and we will never be able to get any releases of the Ferraris that appear at the Tokyo Party on Cars 2. Check the art of Charlie. Hmm. I'm gonna go and get it. It might just be because of the lighting that he looks more darker. And I'll be honest with you guys, I only got this just for the green flag, because the green flag technically is a variation for Dexter Hoover. So now I have Dexter Hoover with a checkered, yellow, and green flag. And the green flag was actually only released once, as a 2010 Lentiki release. Like, he came with the green flag there. So that's actually the first re-release of Dexter Hoover with the green flag. So let me know, guys, right now in the live chat, which Cars edition that I get is your favorite. We have all these guys right here. I'm going to do a recap of them. We have the Race Damage, Lady McQueen Custom. Well, actually, those don't count. My bad. I'm just going to tell you guys right now the ones that count because those are the ones I actually purchased, you know? So we have the Disney Store Mater with the mini racetrack, the Birthday 5-pack with some classics there, the King and Chick Hicks 2-pack, Dexter Hoover and Charlie Tech Checker 2 pack, Lee Revkin single, Raider Springs birthday single, Jackson Storm and Tommy Highbanks back there, the Trunk Fresh Hauler, or the Mini Racer 15 pack.
two people already said that the 15 pack is their favorite. It's probably my favorite as well. Yeah, I guess Tommy Hime is like the little downfall of my additions. And speaking of which, guys, I have a very nice um, surprise for you guys right now that I'm just going to say. The vlogs will be returning. So I have recorded some vlogs. They won't be called vlogs anymore. You guys will see what I'm calling them now once I make the very first episode. But they won't be called vlogs anymore. But I have recorded some footage. I have footage of me finding the birthday five pack and like Tommy back there. Going to a couple of stores. So, uh, I, I'm not going to say vlog, but some, me hunting will be out soon. I don't want to say vlog because that's not what I'm going to be calling it. Hopefully I can get it out by next week. And on Monday, I have a very special video for you guys. And I will, and you guys will see what it is when it comes out. But on Monday, I have a very special video for you guys. And one last thing I want to say is that I'm super close to 1,000 followers on Instagram. The last time I checked, I was at 18 followers away from 1,000. I think I'm at like 980-something. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate all your guys' crazy support. Like, you guys are the reason why, you know, everything is for me right now. I've had this channel for more than two years, and I built up such loyal supporters. I'm super glad that all you guys decided to check out my channel, and all you guys are the reasons why I'm even doing this right now. It was all you guys' loyal support, so all I have to do is thank you guys so much. I'm about to hit two milestones on Instagram, I'm about to hit 1,000, and then on YouTube, I'm a little less than 100 away from 4,000. That is absolutely insane. I know it's not a very big number compared to other big YouTubers that are in like the millions or over 100,000, but for me, it is very special because I never thought I would hit 100 subscribers, and here I am, almost at 4,000 subscribers, and that is amazing. Just thank you guys so much for that. Like, you don't know how much I appreciate you guys. You'll find out, little Harky, but I just want to let you know it's not going to be stop motion. You'll find out when. You'll find out when Monday comes. I mentioned this earlier in the video, little Harky, but I understand that you weren't there. I know you weren't there because you joined, like, mid when I was doing it, but essentially why it's there, it's just for personal reasons, you know. But I just put it there temporarily. Don't worry. It is temporary. I will change it to Dynacle Blue Free 3 hopefully soon. Don't worry. I am still Dynacle Blue Free 3, DB43, whatever you want to call me, but just like, ignore that Vega is there. It's not really meant to be there anyway, but I unfortunately had to put it there. Personal reasons, guys. Just personal reasons. Just please don't ask. I think we got it back on. Oh, my God. Well, I'm just going to be here for like a little more. A little while. For the guys who... Um, for the people here who are stuck with me... Over that, I'm, I'm, thank you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna end the stream here. I'm not even sure if anyone's on here anymore, honestly. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to end the stream here. I was going to end the stream, honestly, like right after I was saying that, then just disconnected. But I'm really sorry about that, guys, but I don't worry. I didn't leave you guys hanging. We're just going to end it here. I was real, I'm was i really happy that I was able to talk to you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. YouTube sometimes just, I guess, doesn't like me. But anyway, hope everyone did watch and enjoy. For real this time, peace out. Love all you guys and your crazy support. So see you guys all next time.